Jason, oh, thanks. Well, the countdown to Christmas, New Year's, Hanukkah, it's all on. If your family's like mine, times are filled with tradition, traditional food. So joining me right now is Chef Giuliano Hazan, and he is showing us how to make something I think I make on the regular basis. So oh, really? I'm, re I'm ready for this. We've oh, got some excellent. pasta going. What are we yes. making today? It's linguine with shrimp and porcini mushrooms. Very festive dish. I promise you, this is something <laughs> that I will eat complete. I'll eat the whole bowl today. Okay, <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Okay, so, so I'm take starting us with some process. extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. And then these are some uh, sliced uh, onions. I like to use sweet onions. Oh, okay. And uh, we're going to saute the onions a little bit. Yes. And I'm just going to kind of speed through this. Okay, <laughs> okay yeah, we've got so. some time. So what, as you're doing the onions, I have a question. Uh, would you put some garlic in there or is that a no? No, you know, this? it's a misconception that if it's Italian, it has to have garlic. Yeah. <laughs> Italians use garlic very light hand. Okay, so not quite the same. Okay, no. so just some onions. So these are the porcini mushrooms. Porcini mushrooms are wild mushrooms, yeah. and these are dried mushrooms. So they come dried. Like I, see I put that them on the display, here. and I put them yeah. in water to reconstitute them. So now they're oh, nice and soft. Oh, okay. okay. How so long would we leave them in about the water? 20, 20 minutes or so. And then. Uh, but you can also put them longer. You know, if yeah. I'm doing a dish that has dried porcini mushrooms, the first thing I do is soak them in water. That way I don't get to the point where I have to put them in and I forgot. That's a really good <laughs> idea. Because <laughs> so, knowing us, you get started and then you're like, oh, I forgot to do that. Exactly. So you saute them a little bit with the onion. And the important thing is that we're going to put the water that they soaked in with them. Look at how we are reusing things today. Because I Because like you that. see all that mushroom flavor is in the water. Yes. We're going to cook this down and we're going to get a really rich porcini flavor base. So this, this will cook down. So make believe that the water has cooked down all the way. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add fresh mushrooms. So these yeah. are just regular white mushrooms. And you'll get but these at any grocery store. Any grocery store. Cooking them together with a porcini mushroom gives them that rich flavor that the porcini Fantastic has. Fantastic mushroom heavy dish. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm and a little bit of pepper. Okay. And then we cook the mushrooms down. You know, they're all going to release some water. We want to cook until the water has pretty much evaporated. Okay. Okay, so let's say these have So approximately kind of how down. long is that? About five? Five minutes. Five minutes? Five okay. minutes. And then I have some fresh tomatoes here. These tomatoes I've peeled mm -hmm. and diced. Okay. It's <laughs> a lot of additional work. Maybe I maybe I would just you know get you somebody get, get, oh, I get, get my somebody else to do them to okay. do that part. You know, <laughs> I I like to say that uh, there's there's different ways to easily chop an onion without crying, and the best one is to get somebody else to do it for you. <laughs> That's why you always have a sous chef. So we're gonna put the tomatoes in. The tomatoes will also cook down a little bit, yes. but they'll still kind of mm -hmm. keep their shape a little bit. So I would say after about five or ten minutes. We are going to end up with what we have in this pan right here. And so you see that mm -hmm. the mushrooms have cooked down, so that's why they got a little bit darker. They took on the flavor of the porcini and everything. The tomatoes cooked down. At this point, go. a little bit of cream. And the cream really kind of brings all the flavors together. Perfect. So you, you stir in the cream, and then finally the shrimp. These are shrimp peeled, we cut into little pieces. Shrimp. This and is going to be a good dish. I can already smell that it's oh, going to be a good dish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the shrimp, you know, pretty much cook very quickly. Mm -hmm. So that wa that's why they go in at the very end. Okay. Now, the pasta here, you wouldn't do this at home. You would, like, cook the pasta. Yeah. <laughs> but I just have it heating here. Perfect. Ready to go. And so we'll mix this and together. And yes. then we are going to try this dish in just a few minutes. We'll be right back. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine.